Do you hear there? This is the captain speaking. Flying operations for today have now been completed. As you know, tomorrow we start operations across the Tasman Sea, trying to attack shore targets in the enemy's homeland, which is represented for us in this exercise by New Zealand. Before that happens, there's a lot of work to be done. The people who can be spared should now get away and try and get some sleep in order that everyone's ready tomorrow. So that's all for now. Good night. Good morning, sir. Good morning. About 6.30, here's your shake. Thank you. Good. In the Sea Kings, we'll be on an anti-submarine search in the screen a few miles ahead of the surface ships. If we detect the submarine, we'll attack with homing torpedoes using the tactics we practiced last week in the simulator. All yours, Peter. Uh, with the Sea Kings operating on the screen, we and the trackers will be free to operate well ahead of the force. And when we get on task, we'll be laying a passive sonar buoy field, and that'll be our primary search sensor. To keep track of the surface picture, we'll operate our radar intermittently. It's going to be a long trip, so watch your fuel throughout. Any questions? Thank you. Because of our proximity to enemy territory, the role of the Skyhawks today is to provide upper air cover for the ship. 
Our aircraft will be armed with rockets, cannon and bombs, and because of the sortie duration, we'll be refuelling while in the air. OK, gentlemen, are there any questions? Uh, right, let's go and get them, then. <laughs> All right, where you go, make it work. Good luck. Roger, sir. Uh, Officer Watts, I want you to bring the ship to, into the flying course and speed, please. Yes, sir. And Chief Yeoman? Yes, sir. Uh, make a signal to HMAS Hobart, directing him to take rescue destroyer station. Aye, right, sir. Starboard 20. Revolutions 224. Captain Officer Watts, Hobart, take rescue destroyer station, 1,000 yards to the carrier. Officer Watts, what's the course to close? Aye, right, sir. Course to close, sir. 330 at 24 knots. Roger. Uh, Flacco, this is Captain. You have permission to fly. Launch Pedro to port. We're fixed flying guard now proceeding to port side station. ADR Flacco. Pedro's airborne. Paramedics are on the ladder. I want to move. Armlet switches off and safe. Air brakes closed. Fuel, 4,000 in total. Instruments, check, two for zero, oxygen, seven liters, harness secure, hatches closed and locked, hydraulics, lights out, head knocker up, controls check. Sir, 090, 120 miles, four aircraft, speed fast, closing. Roger, let me have an exact speed as soon as you can. Not 084 leader, head to 080 oh, yeah. for a raid closing us from the east, uh, approximately 120 miles now. Roger, Melbourne, Delta 4 is to intercept. West radar back. West 61, Roger, I have you identified. You're clear to commence your search and rescue exercise. On completion, operate not above 1,000, and your so much time, 13.30 local. Melbourne, this is seeking lead. Hot, sonar contact 074, 2,460, classified enemy submarine, over. Seeking leader one, seeking two. I have you on radar, jump at 270, uh, 6,000 yards to investigate datum. Over. Seeking lead, Rog. Up front, stand by to jump left onto 270. Roger. Seeking two, this is seeking lead. Execute radar attack. Select one to Mark 46 torpedo. Override, effective port 270. Drop in my command. Over. This is uh, seeking lead, half mile to run. Stand by drop. Roger. Seeking lead to drop now, now, now. Over. and your recovery course 180. Uh, there wasn't too difficult and weeks there. The main problem we had in the hover over the raft was uh, raft movement due to the main rotor wash from our rotor blade. Um, but by uh, listening to our air crewmen in the back there and working together as a team, we came up with the right result. Stand by for fan brake left, Tigers, now. Formation, this is the morning task. 
there are risks, but we take them into consideration. For safety in mind, we plan everything on the ground first. The tracker was originally designed as an anti-submarine aircraft. She's old, but still one of the best in the business. May not be as glamorous as the A4 Skyhawk, but it's just as challenging. The Sea King is a, a very efficient fighting machine. It takes four people to operate it. Everybody has to rely on each other. They're all highly trained. And if they don't rely on each other, then the aircraft as a weapon system is just no good. Melbourne, this is Seeking lead, half past time, 2100 local. As an aircraft itself, the Seeking has got some very sophisticated systems, which does make it a pleasure to fly. But still, when you're 50 miles away from the ship, at 40 feet over the sea at night, nobody likes looking out. Well, night flying, uh, one of the greatest sports I guess you could come across. Some people climb Everest for a living, I suppose uh, you've got to get your thrill somewhere. Right, gentlemen, uh, tomorrow morning's strike is against the Radio Shack within the boundary of the airfield at Kaikoura on the east coast of New Zealand. Yeah, this should be a good hour's run for us, Keith, so we should be right behind you over the target. All right, we'll be uh, armed with four positive zunis and uh, we'll need a tank of gym for the recovery, we could be short on fuel. Delta's one fuel state. Uh, Delta 2, fuel state, Tiger 6 zero. And Delta 3, fuel state, Tiger 5-5. Five five. Tiger's breaking left, 10 miles to run. Delta's present position, Mount Cook. Estimate track time in two minutes. Okay, Mark, appear for every hit inside 20 metres. Okay, you're on. Stand by. very minor exceptions, we achieved everything we set out to do. All the targets were reached and destroyed, so as far as I'm concerned, good on you. Stand by now to disembark the air group and have a good trip.
you look like a pirate with that beard, Alan? Anything exciting lately? Climb any mountains? Oh, you know how it is. Same old nine to five routine. Oh. Pity I missed out in football training, though. Oh, yeah. Hey, 